This totally free city sample from Epic Games for Unreal Engine 5 is actually pretty incredible. It's got lots of great learning resources in it, but it comes in at 100 gigabytes for a download. So obviously not everyone will have enough disk space or internet bandwidth to be able to download this, and you may not even have a powerful enough system to even be able to run it. Well, I've already downloaded it, and I can kind of run it on my RTX 2070 Super, so I'm going to go through this and show you some things from a filmmaking aspect that might be valuable for you. So jumping right in, you can see that this project is using the world partition. This is nice because you can just load in portions of the map without having to load the entire thing into memory. It also includes a couple of different maps, one for the full, the big city, and one for a smaller city, as well as a few other example maps for the vehicle tests and the buildings and the mass crowd. So jumping over to the recommended specs, these are some pretty heavy specs and it's no joke. This thing stutters on my system and I have all of this stuff except for a 2070 Super instead of a 2080. And then there's the massive file size. I mean, 100 gigabytes is quite a bit to ask for a moderate system or a laptop. I had to clean up my terabyte internal drive just so I could download it. Luckily, if you only care about the buildings or the vehicles or the AI crowd, you can just download those projects individually. So after opening up the small map and loading in some tiles on the partition map, uh, this is what it looks like. Obviously, this is sped up just a little bit so that you don't have to watch me just walk around. But as you can see, this is pretty detailed and, and uh, great from a filmmaking aspect. You've got this whole city that you can begin to tell stories in. You can uh, go into a window or something like that. You could start your story from one of these rooftops and then zoom down to street level. I really love how it's just already populated with moving cars and walking people, and it just looks really cool. So speaking of walking people, this is the example of the mass crowd map. Uh, this generates a full crowd um, that just kind of walk around on their own. They do different things based upon the AI paths. Um, you can look at lots of this code here and you can see how they've done this. It's a great learning example for blueprints and just kind of generally poking around and looking to see how they made all of this stuff work. There's even an example of how to create a flea trigger so that whenever you walk over it, everyone runs away from you. So when you start this map, the buildings are just kind of blocked out because the focus here is on the AI and the walking crowd and the cars. The car will stop if you walk in front of it. The people will walk around you if you walk in front of them. If you walk over this little block right here, this is the flea trigger. Notice that everyone starts to walk away from me whenever I run over this block. So this would be great for filmmaking. You can trigger something with an event from the sequencer and make everyone run away at a certain time. You could dig into the blueprint code for this flea trigger and you could add it to an explosion or something if you wanted as well. So the vehicle test map is a lot of fun. They've already kind of built this whole driving game out for you here with your speedometer and everything. Uh, you hop in the car and um, you know this looks pretty neat. I think you probably could switch out the cars. I just messed around for just for a minute by driving this thing around. I'm just using the keyboard and mouse here to drive this car around but you can see as it interacts with other there are obstacles it bumps over these things and the car will actually take some damage uh, let's see let's jump this ramp let's see what happens here so first off my fender hits and that gives me a little bit of damage and then yeah all right so um crash there we go and <laughs> a little bit more damage to the car you can spin around it's got pretty good handling i like how that looks fairly realistic so you can see how you know if you're using this for like a chase scene or something in your film whoop, Oh good, I missed that plan there. You can see how I, this would look pretty cool uh, if you had the right lighting and camera angles and everything attached to this. Oh! Well, it looks like I've crashed my car, and now I'm stuck and my reverse doesn't work, so I guess that's game over. There's also an example of the blueprint to make your character get out of the car with the animation, and all of this is just built in, and you can exchange this out with any other metahuman. So my verdict is, if you can run this on your system and you have the disk space, yeah, you should download this and check it out. If you can't, you should try the smaller projects, at least for the crowd and the vehicles. I think this is a great resource for creating some short films in a city environment, and I'm excited to use it myself.